morning, everybody. It's me, Azalea. You're watching This Old Shack on my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. Got a 1929 fixer upper that we bought for $20,000, and we've been fixing her up for like 10 months, y'all. It's a long slog, but we're about there. So when we first saw this house, let me show you what that looked like. And this is what our house looks like now. She's come a long way, a long way. When I first pulled up to this house, I had a vision. I said, that front fence needs vines. And boy, have they grown. So I buy most of my seeds from Baker Creek Seeds. I buy most of my seeds from Baker Creek Seeds, rareseed.com, that kind of thing, Baker Creek. And I got these sweet melons. And our first one is ripe. That's one of the prolific vines here. We got loofahs, sweet melons, some pumpkins, some cucumbers, and some climbing beans in a sack. Um, and this, we have our first ripe melon. First of all, this thing is producing melons. They're supposed to be little. And you know they're ripe when they change color. And that's a big color difference right there. All right, Tom, can you kind of pinch it, twist it off? Don't hurt the vine, don't pull on the vine. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I can't wait to taste it. Here. No. <laughs> not green. Hey. It's not green anymore. It got ripe. So we need to pick some beans today. This is Mexican paintbrush. Just a beautiful little flower. Hey. Um, There you go, Z. That's good. I don't hold it. So we're going to... I don't see any loofah gourds on the vine yet. I don't see any pumpkins well, on this flowers. vine yet. But well, there's flowers. Beautiful flowers. So that's probably gonna bloom soon. No, the beans I grew and didn't like were the noodle beans. These beans are good. Look how these loofahs grow. I don't even understand. I don't even understand these loofahs yet. It's my first year growing they're them. They're growing high. I think they're trying to spread it This out is the stuff. cucumber. The cucumber's about done, I think. Yeah, the cucumber ain't doing much. I think it's gonna die. She gave us some good cucumbers. I got three. But I really think these melons. I got three. And these beans. That's these enough? The melons and these beans. Wait, that's enough? Our main producer. The melons and the beans are going great. But later in the season, we might get something out of the loofah. And I'm sure we will because the vine is so beans. healthy. No, we're going to eat those beans. Gosh, no. Put this, this shelf in here. Oh, yeah. Mom, it way. looks good. Because if you try and pull it up, it Mom. Can, it's kind of bad. Mom, it makes We'll figure good. it out. There's no getting What does it smell like? Money. We can't Melon. 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 It does smell good. Uh, <laughs> so, y'all know I've been struggling. Oh, wait. There is a loofah gourd on the vine. I see oh one. This this is the loofah gourd. So, it comes out kind of under, under the blossom. Then comes, like, a little gourd. And it should get much bigger. Okay. What's producing? This is like a full farm, but on a fence. A full farm, but on a fence. Uh-huh, that was my vision. So y'all, I've been stressed. I've been stressed beyond words and the plumbing still is not in. And <laughs> but I reached a point. I was like, come on now, we gotta finish this plumbing. And then I was like, you know what? We're almost there. And I went to the Goodwill. That's what I do for stress. I thrift shop. I was with my children and they had two wall shelves. And I was like, oh my gosh, they're perfect. Like, they're really, really perfect. Like, we were supposed to find them at this point in the journey. They were always going to be ours. That perfect. And so now I have enough shelves, wall shelves, to do the kitchen and the pantry. So, I got really enthused on this project again. Like, we are moving in. I can get the pantry together. I can get the kitchen together. The plumbing will get done eventually. The contracting will get done eventually. And um, I just reached, I just like hey, went mom. over a fence. I made a leap and then I felt better when I found these cabinets. So y'all are gonna harvest the beans in that purse. We got all the beans that are ripe. 
Yeah, you should have all the beans. More beans over here. Hey, doggies. Hey, buddy. Hey, little shorty. Big boy wants to say hello. Shorty going up the street like he knows he lives there. Yeah. Tom is scared of dogs. No, it's a boy. If you lift your leg and pee, you're a boy. I think they live up that road because they know where they're going. They seem nice. They didn't growl. They weren't aggressive. They kind of just strolled on by. Took a whiz to mark their territory and on their way. From the beginning, I knew it was going to take a while to live in this house, but I also knew that it was land to garden, and this is my garden and my playhouse until I move into it. The refrigerator's going in this corner. Okay, so we got to figure out these shelves, well, and I'm going to, I can paint them and everything. Too. That's where the stove goes. Okay, so. What now? This actually will be a good way for me to see what it looks like. All right, honey, can you, like, grab one side of this? Quickly. Okay. So, like, right above the stove. Here, I can hold it myself. Oh. And then we can grab it. Uh, and then I can see it. Yeah. I got it. See, that would be good because we can put a little towel right there. Could you please help? Uh, it's slipping. Could you please grab Okay, okay. I these are down. It's not that heavy of a shell, first of all. So it's going to be easy enough. Now, we got this other one that is just cute as a bottom. Yeah, it's not, it's not really going to work well for me. I don't want it over the stove because it'll get all greased up. Um, it, it does not look good for us. What? I should say it should be... Box. Well, it could be for something other than the kitchen, but also it could show be. them the other cabinet. Show the fireworks. Nope, stop. Okay, oh, so wait, yeah, so these are some shelves. We'll put them back in. Let's hold up just to this? show the other one. Oh, it's not heavy since we took the things out. Okay, you lift one side. Actually, no. Actually, that's... And when we took the shelves out of it, go to the bottom of it. What? That's fine. Yeah. So, like, one hand on the bottom. Like this. Okay. Oh! Okay. Walk backwards. It's actually really light. Okay. Now, set it up on the edge of the sink. We'll get a little quarters, too. So this is really cool. I can paint this. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's got shelves. It's, it's not falling, baby. Let go. But see, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just still, oh my god. That's a wide swing. Right there. I like this a lot. Um, perfect for over the sink but this one is our our showstopper <laughs> what do you need help with button. no you don't have to close the button don't close the button Why? Make sure to subscribe to Froggy Fresh. Froggy Fresh. Tom, you're not Froggy, Froggy Fresh. Froggy Fresh. <laughs> you know, I'm just making the viewers. All right, I need to be able to see this cabinet in the video. So, Tom, Tom, get one side. Okay. It just Let's up see. towards the wall. Oh, God. Oh, my. Not God. by that. Lift it from the bottom. Get a grip somewhere on the bottom. Why are we lifting it to the wall? Because then I can look back in the video 
Tom, I can't. You need two hands on the bottom, I think. Oh my god. It's gorgeous, but I don't think it's gonna go here. Yep, 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 yep. Ah! Take it down. Holy cow. Wow, that's so big. All right. Down to the ground. But that's so big. But that's so big. I got a lot of shelves hanging around. And I got even more than this. But these are all of my, like, wood shelves. They're all wood. I also have metal vintage wall shelves, which are not going to be for kitchen and for cups. And then wicker as well. Um, I just really want to maximize storage. Um, anyway. Something wide for like cups and bowls. Big serving be bowls. Big dinner plates. I think this one's going to be a boy. Yeah. You know what? Just for this part. Yeah, I appreciate you, Tom. Keep going. Okay. So if that goes there, well, that pipe's gonna stay there. So. I know. Oh God, there's also a little. Oh, that's a little off even. It's not at all. If we put it up, like five inches higher, I'm just too short right now. I don't think you'll grow anymore. I can use a ladder, honey. Yeah, a ladder every time you grab your dishes? That's going to be a hassle. No, oh, so I, got, I will put things that I don't use all the time. Okay, and when I, I, need need stuff, I need to take oh, this down. Oh, yeah, you do. I forgot about that. Let go. Uh, I was hurting my hands a lot. And also it was slipping because I was sweating. And I also hurt my hands. You yeah. know what, though? I think that's... I'm pretty strong. Yeah, let's, okay, let's but then we have, have, hold on, we got our magnetic knife strip. Knife strip? It's a magnet that we're going to stick our knives to. That came in our, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right here. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I, 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 I don't know. Ooh. Oh, I'm just going to go there you. and hang some pots. All right, so we've got this one for over the sink, this one for above that. Of course, we got a cabinet yeah, over here. These three shelves are going to add storage. Hey, honeys, you need to hush. Hey, Tom, don't lose. Okay. Honey, Tom, can you put these shelves inside the little cabinet we just put in the living room? Okay. So these are for the kitchen. These go in the stairwell to the basement for pantry storage. This is just going to be decor somewhere. Not important at the moment. Um... Cool. I really like that cabinet I got. Maybe it could go here. I mean, also just for like, maybe. Ooh, also I'm gonna have an office area in the upstairs for me, my desk. Some shelves above a desk in the hall upstairs. That's gonna be my office. Um, I make art. I do way crunchy. I write books. I need space. Um, don't fuss, children. I go in here to remind myself that soon the rest of the house will look like this. <laughs> Done. Um, okay. Let me tuck things away where they need to go. And then the ones that are going to go in the kitchen. I should bring them to my barn house and sand and paint them there. That's what I should do. Like there's an example of wicker. These are just some plasticky little shelves. My children collect things, so they need a place. This should be enough of a stepping stool for the kitchen. Super cute front doormat. I'm ready to move in. <laughs> Basket for laundry or my children's clothes. I got pillows ready to put the nice pillowcases we got for the living room. Those curtains, the yellow print, that's going to go in the hall after that construction's done. Tom has a new comforter for his bed. I don't know if it's going to be long enough at this point. 
I didn't realize I got a twin XL, but we'll see. Both children now are artists, especially Tom, but Z is starting to blossom into an artist. We need lots of these pegboards for their room to display their art. This is touch-up paint I saved when I did all this blue painting. A jar takes up less space than a paint can that only has this much left in it, a gallon paint can. You put it in a jar. So, this is where the roof leak is. And there's a slight bit of discoloration here, a little bit of puckering, but I mean, that's just gonna be let be for the, for the move in. I'll coat it with some kills and then I got that paint to touch up. So it'll all be an even smooth color, clean and dandy, dry and nice. Good job. All right. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm taking the shelves for the kitchen to my barn house where I will sand and finish them. Probably gonna paint them. And I'm gonna put my children next to a fan. It is summer here in Virginia, but it's not that hot today. We had some rain that really helped cool things off because we were in the 90s last week. Um, it's like not that hot now. I'm gonna put my children by the fan and give them a video to watch on my phone while I do a little vacuuming and then we're going home. All right, I'm back at my barn house and I am going to look at some different sizes of plates and what I can possibly fit on these shelves. Okay, little plate fits nicely. Great for on the go, grabbing a sandwich, feeding children. Middle plate. In a pinch, we could do a middle plate, but I don't think that's gonna work. Little plates, bowls, cups. That's what's gonna go above the sink. Little plates, bowls, and cups. And hand towels and cloth napkins. So I'll put like a hand towel for you drying your hands when you're at the sink. And then like I use cloth napkins, so I'll do like, but you don't throw them in the dirty clothes every time you use them, but you need to like kind of put them somewhere in between meals so I can put them on that rack. And that means they're still clean enough to use one more time or two more time or five more time, whatever it is. I've just made a discovery. Okay, look at this. I had it upside down. So yeah, I could hang dishcloths and stuff. But you do this, then you can put your plates up here. You hang your plates up here. Let me get a plate. All right, so you know what clued me in? So where the support beams are, like it supports stuff if it was sitting on this side of the shelf. So I got skeeters biting me out here. So I was like, this doesn't make any sense. You need the support under the shelf. And then I flipped it that way and I was like, oh wait, oh wait. It's actually like this y'all, even better. I ain't told y'all how much I paid for that shelf. Y'all guess. What do you think I paid for that shelf? $4.99. $4.99. Mm-hmm. 